What's going on? In today's video, we are going to set up the Zigbee Home Automation integration in Home Assistant so we can connect most Zigbee devices and control them locally directly from Home Assistant. So what is Zigbee? Zigbee is a technology used for short range communication similar to Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's based on the IEEE 802.15.4 standard. It uses a small amount of power and low data rate, making it ideal for home automation using light bulbs, plugs, sensors, and other devices. Because Zigbee devices require low power, devices using this technology can be smaller and also last for a year on a coin-sized battery. Zigbee is also built as a mesh network, so devices can transmit data over long distance by passing data through devices in the mesh network. There are a large number of devices available that use Zigbee. I'm personally using some Akara plugs, switches, door sensors, and also some Philips Hue lights. To configure the Zigbee devices, it would require a hub, which in most cases is sold separately by the same manufacturer. The hub would then connect to the home Wi-Fi and you will use an app, usually on a smartphone, to do the configuration and control those devices. Also, in most cases, these devices will be connected to the cloud. Now, with Home Assistant, we can purchase just one USB gateway that we can use to link Zigbee devices and control them locally directly from Home Assistant. There are a few gateways or modules available that you can use. The one that I've been using for a while now, and I recommend, is the Combi 2 from Dresden Electronic. They also have a module called Raspberry 2 that you can connect inside of a Raspberry Pi. That one I haven't used. However, it could be handy if you have Home Assistant installed on a Raspberry Pi and you don't want to have a USB adapter sticking on the outside. There are two ways that you can configure the gateway with Home Assistant. You can use the Decons add-on or the Zigbee Home Automation Integration. I've been using the ZHA integration for a while now, and I think that is the best choice. It's very simple to configure and also easy to add new Zigbee devices. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up the ZHA integration instead of the Decons add-on. So connect the Zigbee gateway to the machine running Home Assistant. If you have Home Assistant running a virtual machine using, for example, Proxmox, you want to assign the Zigbee gateway to the Home Assistant VM. To do that, go to the Proxmox web interface Select the Home Assistant VM, click on Hardware, then Add, and select the USB device. On the pop-up window, select Use USB Vendor slash Device ID. And from the drop-down, select the Zigbee Gateway. Click on OK and restart the Home Assistant virtual machine. After that, check that Home Assistant can see the Zigbee Gateway connected. So open the Home Assistant user interface and go to Supervisor and then System. On the host system, click on the More Options menu and select Hardware. For the Combi 2, you will see the device listed as follow. Next, we can go ahead and set up the Zigbee integration. So go into Configuration, Integrations, and click on the plus icon. Search for ZHA, select it, and on the pop-up that comes up, click on the drop-down. The Zigbee gateway should come up as an available option to select. If it doesn't get automatically discovered, you can manually enter the path seen on the hardware. Click on Submit, and the integration will then try to automatically identify the type of radio the gateway is using. If it's not detected, a pop-up will come up for you to select the radio type. For the Combi 2, you would choose Decons. However, if you are installing another brand of Zigbee gateway, you will need to select the specific radio for that device. When the Zigbee gateway is successfully added, you can assign it to a specific area in your home and then click on finish. All right, so the Zigbee gateway is now set up with Home Assistant. We can now start adding new Zigbee devices for most brands and control them locally with Home Assistant. To add a new Zigbee device, you need to first put it into pairing mode. For example, the Akara devices have a button that you can press and hold for a few seconds. And an LED starts blinking when the device is ready to pair. Once you have your device in pairing mode, click on Configure under the ZHA integration. Then click on the plus icon and the integration starts searching for new devices. When a device is discovered, it is also paired and automatically added to Home Assistant. You can then change the device name and set up the device location in your home. Once you are done pairing your devices, you can click on the back arrow on the top left to get out of the searching mode. 
Under the ZigBee network, we can check the devices that we have paired or see all the entities available from all devices. All right, so we set up the ZHA integration and we also pair some devices. Now, what if we have several devices that we want to link together and then have one device control all other devices at the same time? For example, a switch that would control several lights or plugs at the same time. Well, with the ZHA integration, you can set up clusters which will link devices together. However, when I was trying to set up clusters with my Akara devices, it wasn't really working for me. And for what I found out is that that feature doesn't play well with some Zigbee devices. So what I ended up doing was setting up automations that would toggle the lights or plugs on and off when pressing the button on the switch. Let me show you how to set up an automation like that. In Home Assistant, go into Configuration and then Automations. Click on the plus icon to add a new automation and on the pop-up that comes up, just click on Skip. In the Automation Editor, set up a name for the automation and also a description if you want to. The mode, leave it as single, which is the default. Set the trigger type to device and for the device, select the ZigBee switch. Now for the trigger, there are several options available for the Akara switch. Because we want to toggle the plug on and off, we can just select button press. Under actions, set the action type to device and for the device, select the ZigBee plug. Now for the action, it is the same thing as the trigger above. We have several options available for the Akara plug. Select the toggle option so the plug can turn on and off when the switch button is pressed. Click on the save icon and we can now test the automation and see if everything is working. Works. Hmm. There are so many different automations that you can set up with Zigbee devices. For example, with a window or door sensor, you can set up an automation that will notify you when you're not home that the door or the window was open. Also, if you have cameras, you could add to the automation to send you an image to know who or what triggered the sensor. Anyway, I hope this video helps you get started with Zigbee devices and also the Home Assistant ZHA integration. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video.